Hello, today we're going to talk about anaerobic respiration, which we can also call fermentation. Respiration is a very important process is where organisms take food, like that yummy pizza there, and convert it into energy. There are two different types of respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration needs oxygen in order to occur. Anaerobic respiration does not use oxygen. Right now, we're going to concentrate on our anaerobic respiration. But it doesn't matter which process of respiration we're talking about. Both start with the process of glycolysis. If we break down the word glycolysis, we can figure out what it means. Glyco, meaning glucose, and lice, meaning to split or to break. So when we put them together, it means to break apart glucose. And when we break glucose, we form two pyruvate molecules. Here's a diagram showing glycolysis where glucose is broken into two pyruvate molecules. You may notice that we need to add in two ATP molecules to get the process started. We need to put energy in to make energy. At the end, we get four ATP molecules giving us two net ATP, which can then be used for cellular processes. During the process of glycolysis, we also use electron carriers, which as the name applies, carries electrons. NAD positive gets electrons to become NADH, and those electrons can then be carried on to other parts of our process to get more energy. The pyruvates from glycolysis can then be used for the next stage of respiration. If there's oxygen present, then it's going to enter into aerobic respiration, where it goes into the Krebs cycle, then the electron transfer chain. But we're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about when there's no oxygen present and it either enters into the lactic acid fermentation or alcoholic fermentation. As we just said, anaerobic respiration occurs without oxygen. The word actually tells you that. An means without and aero means oxygen. So when we put them together, anaerobic, it means without oxygen. One type of anaerobic respiration is called lactic acid fermentation, where pyruvate is converted into lactic acid. Lots of different types of organisms use this, including bacteria. Yogurt and cheese are made from lactic acid fermentation, and it also is what causes your muscles to become sore after you're working out. Another type of anaerobic respiration is alcoholic fermentation, where we're taking our pyruvate and converting it into ethanol, a type of alcohol. This we use in our alcoholic beverages, such as wine. Yeast also uses alcoholic fermentation, which allows bread to rise. As you can see, carbon dioxide is a waste product of this process. Hey, did you notice that both fermentations produce NAD positive? Wasn't that one of our electron carriers? Yes, I did. That's because that's the main purpose of fermentation, is to recycle those electron carriers. The electron carriers drop off the electrons here and become our NAD positive again, so we can start a new round of glycolysis, thus making more energy. Okay, I'm confused. I thought respiration was to make energy, but neither of these processes are they're producing ATP. You're right, fermentation doesn't produce ATP, but remember anaerobic respiration started with glycolysis, which produced two ATP. Now I know that's not a lot of energy, but it is enough for simple processes to occur inside the cell. Congratulations, now you know how anaerobic respiration happens. Even though it only produces a small amount of ATP, the two net ATP from glycolysis, it's still a really important reaction. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.